right guys, before we start this video, I have something kind of cool we're doing. I don't usually do giveaways a lot unless it's like a car or something massive, uh, but I want to let you guys know for the LZMFG Instagram page, we're going to be giving away something special. Now, this right here may look like an ordinary turbo, but Alberto... That is no ordinary turbo. No, it's not an ordinary turbo. Do you want to, do you want to tell a story or do you want me to tell a story, Alberto? You can start, I'll fill in. So this turbo right here is a GTX Gen 1 2063. That was actually the first aftermarket turbo I ever bought. This is the turbo that I ran on my S13 when it made like 350 wheel on pump gas when I got it tuned by Martin the very first time. But when I got this turbo, I didn't, I didn't know how to put a turbo on. So who'd I call? <laughs> well, I ended up installing that turbo. That was the first job that I did on his car after, well, was it after or at the same time of fixing your rocker? I think we did everything at the yeah, same so, time. Yeah, so I lost a rocker arm and I was worried that the shim was lost in the head. So you were pulling the head off and I was like, well, while well, the head's off, that'd be a great time to... Yeah, refresh the engine, upgrade everything. And he ended up putting that turbo right there. It was the first turbo that I even started for Adam. And it marked the start of a really good friend relationship that now we have all sort of turbos. So kind of a, a cool piece of history on the channel. Um, I, it away? I normally like hoard all of these things because I, I'm not good at, <laughs> James is, James is not there right now, because like everything's super sentimental to me, but I want to do something special and uh, I thought giving away this would be kind of cool. Um, it is blown, it doesn't work anymore, uh, a friend of ours actually used it and I think lost an oil line or something and blew it up, but this is the turbo off my car, GTX 2063, cool piece on your mantle, all you got to do is go over to the LZ MFG page on Instagram, uh, follow it, and then there'll be a post with me and Alberto holding the turbo, and just drop a comment, we're just gonna pick a random comment, so. Can you just like hold it like this? Like, yeah. I remember Adam holding this turbo like it was a little baby at the restaurant. He was, I believe, at Texas Roadhouse with Kelsey, <laughs> and he was like, oh, this little turbo, and so, like holding it like this, like a little baby. It does look like a little baby turbo, right? It was good, that was it's a good like turbo. like a little baby turbo, you're so grown up now. You're going off to a different family. <laughs> so in theory, like you could rebuild it and make it work if you wanted to run it on your car. It is, what is this, a T25 flange? T2? This is T25, yeah, T25 yeah. to 28, um, same thing. But I don't know, I was just gonna put it on a shelf or something, so. Well, I'm gonna try to do more things like this if we have like parts and stuff, but um, go do that and then we're about to start this video. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. We're cruising in the white chaser right now, heading over to the shop so I can grab the other chaser. We're gonna go over to OSW. Um, this isn't gonna be really a drifting video. The footage at OSW at night usually comes out like garbage, so I'm not planning on really filming much there. Just wanna go drive with the homies, maybe get a couple clips, and then we'll segue into working on some rad stuff at the shop. Still can't get over how good this car is and how good it sounds. They look so cool next to each other. So uh, it's gonna be interesting, the juxtaposition. After driving the white car, which is really dialed, like drive straight, and then any sort of wheel wobble, then hopping in this thing that's like kinda a hoopty, but like not really a hoopty, but kinda also a hoopty. Needs some like ball joints replaced. I think one of the tie rods is a little bent. It is a true drift car, okay? My camera looked great today. Maybe I look great, can't tell. Probably the second one. It's probably because I smashed the other camera that sucked and never would focus. So this one appears to be doing a little bit better. Thanks, guy. This is 
really funny to me. Uh, I've been watching Shulman the whole night because he's been like driving with someone in front of us. He's been killing it the entire time. Last lap, Shulman, I'm like, Shulman, go ahead. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I know it's tripped. I just feel back. I know it's, you know, it's us, but. We kissed and we got stuck on each other. We got stuck. <laughs> You got, you got stuck. stuck, but like my, that's how my, good that kiss was. You couldn't even leave me. I got a little stuck, and then you got a little stuck, you know. But it's drifting. We're having fun. Why are you talking like that? We're a little banged up, you know. But I'm trying to imitate Adam when he gets upset and try to. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chaser is really good. First time I've really been able to drive with disease. It keeps up finding corners. Transitions, I kind of have to predict a little more because it's still slow to transition. I might be able to work on the suspension wise, but you were shredding the Z, dude. Thanks, man. So fun driving with you and Ginge. Yeah. So much fun, dude. Thank you so much. So much better than driving with Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, that's a joke, but I'm still mad at you for selling your Z. Why would you do that to us? That is not cool. I'm waiting. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for an apology, Taylor. You make us cry at night because you left us. For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? Comment below if you think Taylor should get another Z. His Z is here. Someone's literally driving his Z tonight. How sad is that? I got all excited. Taylor's here. Nope. Not him. So anyway, uh, the little scuffle with Shulman did a uh, little, 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 little stuff going on up here. Nothing too bad. Um, but uh, whatever, it's fun. It's all fun, all fun in games, all fun in games. We're gonna head home now. Chill Sunday morning, and we're gonna go for a drive. I don't often get the chance to enjoy this car on nice roads in Florida, but today, we are. <laughs> driving out to go meet up with a friend of mine, Wes, a Porsche friend that I know through Titan, and he's going to show me around some of the local driving roads. Now, we don't have a lot in Florida. I think these are kind of like the only really ones that the enthusiasts go to. It's about an hour drive from my house, and we're going to see how it compares to what we're used to with this thing. Two things. One, um, this is the best example of the drone I can give you guys. On the highway, doing about 82 miles an hour, it's a little droney for me. With the amount that I drive this car on the highway, it's worth it for how good it sounds on the back roads. If this were daily, it might be a little bit annoying, but uh, it's definitely tolerable and you can still hear me in the camera, so it's not that bad. Um, I'm really excited. I kind of have to thank you guys because the fact that I'm able to upload every other day now is giving me so much free time to do stuff like this. This is usually a thing where I wouldn't be able to go do. Well, I guess, mind you, I'm making a video so that kind of counteracts my point. But usually I don't have enough free time to go do things like drive an hour out to go drive the Porsche around back roads because I'm so focused on getting all the content done and editing every day that to get out of the house early enough to make something like this happen is tough. So. just going for a leisurely cruise and then Wes shows up driving gloves dude all right what's the story tell us why so this is a Porsche cup car wheel which they've now discontinued so it's an impossible to get and it's kind of like your rare r34 parts this wheel now is like $1,800 jeez so I'm trying to keep it fancy 
Can you can you give us a quick walk around on your car? So this is a 996 GT3. They didn't bring the RS to the States, so we've added a bunch of the RS bits. So it's got like the European seats. This is a uh, the European RS wing. And then I've done long tube headers with the GT3 RS center muffler and a cup car bumper. And then it's got custom long tube headers going to the muffler. This thing sounds rad too. It's, it's not as loud as your car, but it's pretty loud. For reference too, I know I kind of like briefly said who Wes was, but Wes has been a very big Porsche inspiration for me. Yeah. So, so helping me along with all the little doodads here and there. Day jobs at Titan, but the weekends are Porsche, so I'm, I'm a diehard Porsche guy. <laughs> This thing's cool though. And then the front bumper is RS, so it's, it's really just got a lot of European stuff. It's cool. So have you done this drive before? Often, not with people, but <laughs> yeah, it's my normal route. I'm excited. It's, don't get too excited, but it's, it's pretty fun for Florida standards. I mean, I'm, I'm used to like stoplight to stoplight, so. There's a little bit of that, but for Florida standards, there's 300 feet of elevation, so it's one of the few spots in Florida that has some curves and some nice incline decline for couple miles that's it all right and our third guest on this trip today Nava what are you bringing out to run with us nothing I'm right no give, give me the walk around on, on what that <laughs> yeah bro it's a rental <laughs> what's going on with your cars um, fuel pump and a neon and then evil needs a motor so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to start them young so I got the official Porsche Car seat. Yes, the airbags turned off. So I was gonna say, is that okay to ride with a kid in the front seat? I don't know how yeah, that once works. They get, once they get to this size, it's okay. And these seats, being European seats, there's not an official standard on it, but this seat is is the one that fits them, like the sport bucket, same for your car. Is this Turn a the airbag off? And since there's a cage in the back and no back seat, then their only option is to sit in the front seat. So is this a Titan cage as well? Yeah, that's cool. How come you don't have a cool LZ in yours? I should have added one. No. <laughs> The one thing that I'm kind of upset about, I do wish I didn't tint my rear window because it looks so cool just looking in and seeing that. You gotta go fishbowl if you're gonna have a colored cage. But... I know, I know. I made the mistake. But it is cool because it's kind of subtle. You just see it like through a little here, but I don't know. Maybe one day. Can't see anything back there. Wes's car is so cool. I'm excited. This is a good way to spend a Sunday. His exhaust is your speakers. <laughs> or his his speaker is my exhaust. How are that? I don't know. <laughs>
stopped real quick and got some uh, chicken and waffles at this cool little spot. Uh, I don't know what this is called. This place here, Brew and Tap. Um, it's a loop, so we've got some different roads on the way back. We're just kind of chilling, having fun. Are you, bro, what are you doing right now? You're a vlogger now? Where'd you get that? We got, found it. Oh boy. We stopped a, uh, at a cool little parking lot. It's for some photos. <laughs> Sounds so cool. <laughs> It wasn't like the fun, super exciting, like tail of the dragon, like super exciting. No, no, no. But like as a mature adult to go out with like a nice car and like look at the pretty roads, go get a nice bite to eat, drive through the downtown areas, it was sick. It's a good mix of that. Like both these cars are supposed to be on a racetrack, but yeah. this is an alternative to where you can enjoy the cars on a Sunday, but go eat, do your thing. It's like corner, corner, yeah, nice area, the, corner, corner. The worst part, you have to catch it. I normally try and catch it early yeah. so that way there's not as many people on the road. Not stop and go as much, which is cool. But it's fun. Sure beats parking in a parking lot talking about yeah, it. Yeah, for real. <laughs> That's seventy would you you daily that, right? Seventy yeah, thousand miles? Seventy eight thousand or something on now, so that I think that was like the coolest thing for me, like this car, like a lot of people don't think about it, is in the realm of like Ferraris and Lambos and all that stuff. But the people with Porsches drive them and drive the shit out of them. Yeah, and I tracked that car a bunch and obviously now I've got a four-year-old so I don't get to, but yeah. 
I can take it like this on Sundays, and then it'll be in the parent pickup line tomorrow if I feel like it. Don't want to stun on the dads at school, so oh, yeah. it's a nice dual purpose. That was fun.